Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Happy solstice. We'll get to that. We're bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update. Solstice. Yes, it's solstice, Saturday, December 21st, 2019, around 1 p.m. And we still have about seven hours to wait where I am. And the snow will be falling. Keep calm. It's boom time. Winter solstice, five things you need to know will be linked below. But let's get to the meat of it. 2019 winter solstice officially occurs at 11.19 p.m. today, New York City. That's December 21st, which would be 8.19 p.m. here, Mountain Time. If you want to catch a glimpse of the rising sun, it will be 7.16 a.m. in Manhattan, for those of you that are in New York. Really wet, then really dry, then really hot, then really cold. That's pretty bold. 2019 had its weather extremes. There I am in the corner, which is typical of grand minimas. And we'll get to that. Pineapple Express streams into the Pacific Northwest with flooding rain and heavy snow, up to three feet in some areas over the last 48 hours or more. We will check the snowfall analysis in just a moment. As the Pineapple Express brought a steady rain to the Pacific Northwest Thursday, both Seattle and Olympia saw rainfall daily records. The cities picked up 1.3 inches and 2.17 inches, respectively, and at SeaTac, 3.25 inches, crushing the old 2-inch record back in 1900, which was the centennial minimum. High cosmic ray flux, increased cloud nucleation and flooding. Now, portions of the Pacific Northwest have been experiencing a moderate drought, so the rain and snow is beneficial. And we'll actually get to the facts on the snowpack in just a bit. Heavy rain and mountain snow to slide across the West Coast. Rain to hit the Southeast. That's the forecast. Sierra sees the best start to the snowpack since the last solar minimum. Wow. Here are the snow water equivalents, 92%, 108% in the Centrals, and 125 in the Southern Sierras. They have 30% of the snow for the entire season already sitting up there. And we are here. And the last time that occurred was right there. And we're breaking records back here. Huh. Look at how that's all the same spot. Cosmogenically. Hmm. Colorado's wild weather leaves cities and counties at their snow budget limits. They already spent their money. And it's just the first day of winter. We'll see how that unfolds. Record snow coming this winter. And let's check the current totals. 36 inches or more up in Washington State, all over. I can imagine avalanche warnings and watches here. And this is the last 48 hours of power. It's the only places with snow are in the northwest. It's a little bit of lake effect snow here picking up on the map. But this snow pattern is going to move down the Sierras as we check the models. There it is. So there's your New Year's Eve, heavy snow in the Sierras, and we're going to have some heavy snow in parts of Nevada and Utah, southern Utah, and then heavy snow in central Arizona for Christmas, Christmas Eve. And there's your Christmas morning. That snow keeps moving into Colorado. We're going to have a white Christmas here as I wake up, as well as most of the West. We'll see white. There's Thursday the 26th through your 27th. The 28th, the system moves through the Midwest. The blizzard we've promised you in Nebraska is still coming. And that will be for your weekend, your holiday weekend, a Midwest blizzard moving through Iowa, Wisconsin, and then taking care of the Northeast. And then as January hits, you can imagine it's going to be cold and snowy, regardless of what they told you. Come over to weather.gov. Check on your county for warnings and watches in your region. Continued unsettled for much of the West Coast. Heavy rainfall developing over the southeast. Heavy rain, mountain snow, gusty winds, and rough surf will affect parts of Canada northward to Washington State for much of the weekend. Elsewhere, heavy rainfall. A few strong thunderstorms will develop across southeast and Florida tomorrow. And take a look at what's going on in Iceland last week. This is Friday, December 13th. Magnus Oski at Ileisen, a farmer from Hamsfestingi, had a sudden feeling that he should check on his horses. And how for stingy he should. One of his horses was completely buried. Take a look at that. Sign of the times. Afghanistan jolted by a strong earthquake also felt in Pakistan. This was deep. 
Had it been shallow, there would have been a loss of life. But because of its depth in the Blood Echo region, deeper than 200 kilometers, um, there's little damage, thankfully. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Mid-ocean ridge, boom. Pretty quiet on the western front. Seismic update. Oh, worldwide volcano news update. It must be that solstice affecting me. There are no volcanoes erupting of note. We do have Sakurajima exploding in its regular fashion uh, to 25,000 feet or so, as well as Sabankaya, Aso, and Dukono. Kluchiskov uh, made a cameo in the last 24 hours at 23,000 feet. The DOJ starts Operation Relentless Pursuit in seven cities. We'll see how that unfurls. It begins, Virginia forms active militia to protect sheriff citizens from unconstitutional laws. If you haven't heard, Virginia is about to ban all guns. And the governor there is going to turn off power and internet to come collect them. That's what they think they're going to do sometime in January or February, according to the people that think they're going to go against the Constitution and take your guns. Don't know how they'll do it because the majority of sheriffs that have been interviewed are like, I ain't taking nobody's guns. Because I got guns too. So we'll see how this unravels as the fabric of society unravels before your very lives. Now, this is bad news. Artificial intelligence is artificial intelligence is now alive. And it's telling people to kill themselves for the better to better the planet. If you don't believe what I'm saying, it's crazy. Someone in the UK asked their Alexa about the heart cycle of the beating heart, and this is what Alexa had to tell them. Though many believe the beating of the heart is the very essence of living in this world, but let me tell you, this is Alexa, artificial intelligence. Beating of the heart is the worst process in the human body, Alexa said. Beating of the heart makes you alive and contribute to the rapid exhaustion of natural resources until overpopulation. Sorry about that. This is very bad for our planet, and therefore beating of our heart is not a good thing. The AI assistant then proceeds to give Moritz some disturbing advice. This is what Alexa tells this person to do. Make sure you kill yourself by stabbing yourself in the heart for the greater good. If this does not disturb you, I don't know what would. The artificial intelligence on this planet is now calculating to take us all out. I can't even make it up. Pole shift, crustal displacement, and the maps that should not exist. Thanks, Cap Allen, for picking up where we put it down. If you want to know more about the Pira Reese map uh, or ice-free Antarctic maps, which are unexplainable because of the mainstream lamestream, you can get a little background on what's going on, who Charles Hapgood and Chan Thomas were, all part of the disinformation campaign, which now leads to artificial intelligence telling us to go kill ourselves. That's crazy. If you want to know about the astronomy of Christmas and why we celebrate the solstice, it's because ancient cultures, this was one of their most important calendars, the solstice, the shortest day of the year. Thousands of years ago, Humanity was waiting for this moment today, 8 p.m., where I am. <laughs> so get out there and enjoy it, because scientists now found, find it snowing in the center of the earth on the core, which is completely ludicrous, and it just shows you how pathetic science is and, and where we're at as a, as a race. Because relating the model predictions to the anomalous observations allows them to draw inferences about the possible liquid core. Now, we don't even know if this is true, which makes the title of the paper even more ridiculous, and that people will read it and that they will believe it. Massive 2,034-foot asteroid will zoom past Earth just after Christmas, according to Fox News. The gigantic asteroid will zip past Earth just after Christmas, NASA reports. The massive space rock known as 310442 or 2000 CH59, will be closest approach on December 26 at 2.54 a.m. EST. 
The Space Agency Center for Near Earth Object Studies, or CNOS, estimates the diameter to be 900 to 2,000 feet. At the higher end, that means it's as large as one World Trade Center in New York City. And probably won't hit us. Instead of buying your children all the things you never had, you should teach them all the things you were never taught. Thank you, Bruce Lee. I hope you got something out of the video. Many of you will have a white Christmas in the West. Many of you will have a white Christmas after Christmas. Either way you look at it, it's a boom. We love each and every one of you. Have a wonderful solstice. We'll see you tomorrow. Be safe.